Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I didn't realize either when the last time I filmed an empties video was or how much I got through since the last empties video. It did not even fit in this bin. This bin was overflowing, you guys. I keep this in the corner of my office and then I fill it up. And typically, once it's full, I sit down and film a video, and I just didn't get to it. And I was like, okay, I'll film it tomorrow, I'll film it tomorrow. And then I finished another candle, and another soap, and I finished another thing, and another thing. And next thing I know, my bin is overflowing, and I have all sorts of product on the floor. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to stick my lights on, sit down, and film a video. So, I have so many candles so many wax melts, and so much just other miscellaneous householdy things that I finished up. So I have a glass of water because I know I'm going to need it throughout the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Because they're literally taking up so much space on my table, we're going to start with candles. Okay, let's start with some not so great things. We're starting with the Goose Creek Lemon Meringue Candle from the lemon meringue or from the lemon meringue from the strawberry shortcake collection as you can see i barely barely burned it and it's because there's no scent left it burned so sooty i mean i literally trimmed the wicks on these lit it and within two minutes they were flamethrowers like it was wild so then i extinguished it let the wax harden trimmed it again same thing Three times, and I just could not deal with the amount of soot that this candle was producing, so it just went right into the candle crock in my kitchen, and I just let it go. It actually did so well in the kitchen. It was a really rich, creamy, like, bakery lemon fragrance, but I feel like it smelled like most lemon bakery fragrances. It wasn't super unique, so I would not repurchase it. I actually don't know if I would repurchase Goose Creek Candles. I've not been having the best luck with them. I only have a few left from my first order with them, so we shall see, but the label was super cute. I didn't really get to see it because, again, I popped it right into my candle crock, but yeah, I was not impressed with that candle. Speaking of not impressed, this is from the Bath & Body Works Black History Month candles, and this is the My Sweet Sisters. So the notes were sugar and cinnamon, toasted hazelnut, and cake batter, and the burn was okay for the first couple burns, and then again, the flames just got super small, super low, which produced no throw, and then I actually, this one wick here just would not stay lit. It kept extinguishing itself. It just never, ever stayed lit for me. So I was like, I'm done. I blew it out, stuck it under a candle lamp. And it's surprising that even though it was in a candle lamp, it didn't really, the flames didn't, like the wicks never moved. But yeah, so it was a fine scent. It was again, like just like a creamy, light chocolate. But I burned the whole thing in my office and I could never smell it. All right. <laughs> oh, Country Candle Charred Pineapple. Full disclosure, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. I do receive a lot of candles for free from Kringle as PR. This was one of them. I can't burn this, all right? So I posted a picture, I even posted it on YouTube Shorts, of the strawberry lemonade and the charred pineapple together. It smelled so great in my house. That night, I blew them both out. The next day, I lit them both again. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I have a gas fireplace or um, gas stove. And I was like, did I leave the stove on this morning when I made breakfast? Like, did I not turn the gas off all the way? No. I was like, it smelled like gasoline in my house. It smelled so, so awful. And I was like, what is that? And then I was like, it's not the candles. And I was like, is it? So I stuck my nose over the strawberry lemonade. Was not strawberry lemonade. And I stuck my nose over this. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I don't know why after the first burn, when the wicks get lit, this charred pineapple did not smell like this on cold or the first burn. 
it smelled like gasoline, like kerosene. Like, I don't know what happened when the wicks got, um, got lit on this one. There is no way. And it still smells like it. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh, it still smells like it. Oh my God, it's so hard to even smell. So unfortunately, this is not a recommendation and I'm just throwing this away. I mean, I can't even light this candle. It literally smells like gasoline and it is like, it is so awful. And I actually got a message from my friend Katie here on YouTube and she was like, Drew, oh my gosh, I just lit this candle and I got the same thing. So listen, I don't know what it is. So yeah, that that's done. But strawberry lemonade on the other hand as you can see i had a great time i had a great time with this candle it was awesome this was so tart so juicy from the straw from the lemonade and then that little bit of fruitiness from the strawberry this is not a revolutionary fragrance you guys it smells like a strawberry lemonade but it performed so great for me I burned this one exclusively in my living room and I would pair it with some wax melts and anything that paired with it just did really well. This just had a great tart freshness in the background and for being a country candle that I'm not having the best of luck with burn wise lately, this performed so well. I only have two of the Kringle releases from the new spring summers in the country so I'm excited to add this to my rotation. It is the Cotton Flowers and the Sand and Santal. I'm just looking at them right now. So I will incorporate them into my burning. So hopefully you'll see one or two of those in my next. But I really, really, really enjoyed that. All right, let's stick with Kringle. I was really working on some reserves, you guys. So I finished Turquoise. And I was saying I'm really trying to burn through my older reserve candles that have the more um, solid black jar where a lot of the newer reserves have like a translucent black jar, which I much prefer. And I like having you be able to see the flame. Turquoise, this was fine. It wasn't super, super strong. I burned it in my office the whole entire candle. And it was kind of like a light, like almost if you had a rain scented body wash or something like that, like a very light blue body wash, sort of. It was very nice. Again, it was very light. I wish it was a lot stronger. So I would not recommend this if you don't, if you really want a powerhouse. But what I did smell was pretty. And again, it's the Kringle 100% soy wax, two with tumblers. So they performed super well for me. This guy, you guys, Crimson and Clover. I would actually repurchase this in a heartbeat. I love this. I love fig fragrances. I know I'm not the I'm not um, in the in the majority of people on YouTube. Sorry, words, but I really really love fig fragrances. I love how sweet they are. I love how very sophisticated and unusual a fig fragrance is. You don't find a ton of fig fragrances out on the market, and if you do, they're either really really earthy or like really artificial. This Crimson and Clover is a fig fragrance that I just loved, and I will repurchase it. Maybe if there's a sale, or like if it gets retired, I'll pick a couple up, but there's other reserve candles that I really want to try first, but once I'm like, you know, looking for some backups again, I would have no problem repurchasing Crimson and Clover. It's just a really sweet, rich fig fragrance. It does have a little bit of earthiness to it, but it's not like you're scooping dirt with your figs. It's just a very sweet fig. And it performed so well for me. I was burning this in my kit, in my dining room. And anytime I walked by, it just smelled so, so great in there. So I really, really liked that one. And then I was burning Night Bloom, which I've had in my collection forever. And oh, this is so nice. This again, all the way down, burned super clean. This is a white floral, like a white rose, or white rose, like a tube rose, gardenia, that very light white floral, which is not my favorite, but I think just burning this one in my living room as like a light background fragrance, you know, when I'm watching a movie or at nighttime to relax, that I just smelled the essence of it. It wasn't like hitting me over the head. I wouldn't want a fragrance like this to hit me over the head. I think if I did burn something that strong, 
it would be pretty much a turn off because it'd be like, oh my God, it was so overwhelming. This was the perfect strength and throw for the type of fragrance that it was. If you like those very white tuberose gardenia type of fragrances, I highly recommend the Night Bloom. So this is, I believe, still available. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, I did really, really like that one. All right, this guy, and I did not clean these jars, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you Easter Brunch. I love, love, love this fragrance. Kringle fixed the sooting problem on these. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I mean, she was a soot monster, but listen, I didn't care because I loved the fragrance so much. This is like the most rich, buttery, yeasty, doughy croissant fragrance I've ever smelled. I do love Kringle's fresh baked bread. I'm actually burning Kringle's sweet and savory for the first time. Oh, I love sweet and savory. You guys, I'm burning sweet and savory and herbs and herbs, herbs and spices in different rooms in my main space this weekend. And it is so great. It is like this rustic Italian bakery restaurant in here. It's perfect. I love it. If only I had a tomato candle to really, you know, set it all. I don't have any right now, because but I do love a tomato fragrance candle. So Kringle, I'm dying for a Kringle Reserve tomato candle. Like, if Kringle comes out with a tomato candle in the reserve line, I'm immediately ordering two because I know it's going to be great. Kringle does great fragrances. Tomato, yes. Okay, back to Easter brunch. This is up there with Jelly Donut and Strength and Throw for me, which some people say they can't smell Jelly Donut. I don't understand. It is the strongest Kringle candle I've ever owned. This is number two. This was so strong, so buttery, so rich, so decadent. I literally had this lit, went downstairs to get something for my car. When I came back up, I could smell it in the hallway. This candle permeated every nook and cranny of my house. And when I blew it out, I still smelled it in my house. Like it was crazy, the strength and throw of this candle. But again, I don't understand why these like mercury glass sort of speckled painted jars get so sooty like they do, but they do. I, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I even trimmed these and they still got super, super sooty. So not sure what the issue with that is, but I love this. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. And I'm actually going to clean this jar out and save it as a vase for flowers for next Easter because I just think... This jar is so pretty. I'm actually going to put it here so I don't forget. But next, I have Orange Blossom from Bath & Body Works, the White Barn Collection in the Single Wicks. They have these candles. There's Orange Blossom, Amber, Cypress, Vanilla, and there's one more, I think. But anyway, the only one that I really liked was Orange Blossom. I had some rewards, and I thought this aesthetically was really pleasing. It's like this fun black label with a light gray wax. And they do have a gel soap that matches each of these that's an online exclusive. I think it's interesting that they made a gel soap with this one and it's an online exclusive. I, I don't understand the marketing behind that one. But anyway, these burn terribly. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure why this new signature line burns so badly, but look at that. The amount of, I'm trying to think, the amount of residue that's left on these jars is insane to me. I tried, I mean, there was no scent either. I mean, I burned both of these together in my bedroom. I had one on my dresser and one on my nightstand and I could not smell them. I had no air condition, no windows open. My bedroom is small. Everything performs in there. Two of these in my bedroom and I could not smell anything. And I had them lit for like five or six hours and they never pulled out. The candle is so small, I, I don't understand. So the scent is nice. It's like a very creamy orange blossom. Almost like if you took orange blossom and blended it with vanilla, you would have this fragrance. The notes are oh, pressed citrus, green honeysuckle, and vanilla. So see, the vanilla. So I liked the fragrance. The burn was just terrible for me. And then last, oh no, it's not last but not least for candles, but I finished from Matt Matthews. I am worthy of the best shit life has to offer, which is in Creamy Strawberry Dream. And this I actually was burning alongside the Easter Brunch candle from Kringle quite a few times to give it like a strawberry jam croissant. 
And this is so good. Again, the Matt Matthews candles burn so well. There are no coloring, so they burn all the way down. 100% soy wax. I really like his candles. They really perform well. And I like supporting him because he's super funny. And he has really great fragrances. So if you like like a rich, creamy strawberry, definitely give that one a try. They're a little pricey. They're $30, but they're super worth it. All right, I finished two of the smaller size fig candles. Um, uh, now look how funny this is. So I finished this diptyque fig, this diptyque fig. Both burned in the same place in my office. I had one on one end of the table and one on the other. I could barely smell them. And look how sooty this one is. A lesson. Again, I don't understand why. These ones are not for sale. These are these small size that they do sell, but these were gift with purchases that I received. And I find that the gift with purchase candles never smell. So I almost wonder, and the boxes are labeled not for sale. So I almost wonder if the ones that they at, they give you for free are supposed to be unscented. Like they smell, but you can never smell them. And I smell most of their candles when they have lit. There's a couple lighter ones that I don't get performance from, but I didn't smell anything from either of these. So plus the slip. All right, so I finished that. Now let's move on to Scentsy. I had some interesting Scentsy this week. Um, some hits, some total misses. So let's start with some total misses. I did Southern Sweet Tea. I did two of these, which means I did them in my dining room, living room, kitchen area. And this was fine. This is, again, like a light iced tea fragrance, but... I think I smelled it for all of 20 minutes and then I couldn't smell it at all. It's not in my club, but I still have some from this Bring Back My Bar to work through my stash, but I didn't get a great performance from that. Oh, I loved this. This is Strawberry Sweetie, which is from the Bring Back My Bar and B-A-N-A-N-A-S. So as you can imagine, I did a strawberry banana day and I actually did them in the same warmer. I did a cube of each in a warmer all throughout my house. It smelled great. The strawberry sweetie is like a very rich, hard candy strawberry. So you even get like that tartness from the hard candy. And then the bananas is like a creamy coconut banana almost. Like I think this smells like a coconut ice cream that's made at like those uh, dairy-free ice cream shops. There's a couple of them actually in New York that are... Like they're made with banana. Like the base of the ice cream is banana instead of ice instead of milk. And I feel like this smells like if you had a coconut ice cream that from that place because it has that banana base, but a hint of coconut. Interesting. So I did this combo and I really, really liked it. I had a couple old sweaty bars of Just Keep Swimming from the Disney collection, the Finding Nemo collection. This is aquatic, but again, it barely lasted. These are pretty old. I mean, they are flat bottoms. I got these in a flash sale and it performed well, which speaking of, we had a nightmare flash sale issue where everybody was on, I was on, and I had an hour wait this week. And I was like, an hour wait? That's insane. Well, the site crashed. There was an issue in another region with pricing. And when they try to fix that, it caused our site to crash or something like that. So it is rescheduled to next week. I believe it's next Thursday as well at 1 o'clock or 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific. I'll put the full details down below with a link to my site if you wanted to shop. I know a couple of you messaged me and was like, I'm trying to get on. I'm trying to get on. I said, I know. I don't know what happened. But I do love stocking up on Sensi especially bars during the flash sale that have been discontinued that I want to continue to stock up on. So definitely check it out next week. Um, okay, let's do some misses. I did the Wild Cherry and Sakura from the new releases in my office. This is weird. It's like a fall spices mixed with cherry, where Sakura is like a cherry blossom. So you would expect it to be a very light, like springy fragrance, but it, it wasn't. It was just a very lightweight fragrance, lightweight, like a very light fragrance. So not really sure why, but it's like a light cherry fall fragrance. So I did not love that. We have Moon Orchid, which is another one of the new releases. And 
I did not like this. And this is so funny why I don't like it and very specific. My first job was Lush. I used to work for Lush Cosmetics. And this has a bath bomb note. Any Lush fragrance, especially the bath bombs, have like that sodium bicarbonate base smell, which doesn't normally have a scent, but it's that powdery note that like, like not like floral powdery, like actual powder, like sodium bicarbonate, like, you know, actual baking soda, like a powder note. This smelled like a Lush bath bomb. It had that base to it, which super triggered me because I hated that job. And, oh my gosh, yes, this smelled like a Lush bath bomb to me. I don't know which one, but mm -mm. after I smelled that over and over again, I was like, yeah, I, I can't deal with that one. I have Mistress of Evil. I was doing this in my bathroom. I have like a stack of four or five bars. And every couple of days, I take two cubes out of a bar in that stack and put it in my warmer in my bathroom, change it up every couple of days. So I just rotate through the fragrances and Mistress of Evil was the one that I finished next. I like this. This is like a sweet plum fragrance, but it has a freshness to it. Um, unlike sweet plum pastry, which is like a rich bakery plum. This is more of like a fresh plum. It does great in the bathroom, lasts a couple days in there. So really enjoyed that one. I did two bars of pineapple rose from the January, was it January of last year or was it this year? I think it was January of last year of the uh, scent and warmer of the month. Yeah, the warmer was that Disney warmer, which I did not get, but ah, uh, this is fine. It's a very powdery rose mixed with sweet pineapple. It does perform really well and very strong. I do have so many of these still from that kit that I'm trying to work on. But the hits. I did Black Raspberry Sangria from the Sensepirations collection. I have the Honeydukes collection, the Sensepirations collection, the Mental Health Awareness collection, and the Father's Day collection that I placed when I ordered a couple counter cleans and things that I needed. And I just never got around to filming them. And I'm like, you know, by the point that I get to filming them, it doesn't matter. So I just stuck them in my in my uh, rotating drawer of wax. So I've been melting through them. And this black raspberry sangria is really good. It's actually going in my bedroom right now. It's very fruity. You get the tiniest hint of that black raspberry vanilla base. It's so funny. I like black raspberry vanilla, but it almost has a plastic note to it, but not in a bad way. I don't know how else to describe it other than like, it smells like a black raspberry vanilla scented baby doll. Like it has like, if a baby doll had a smell, I, I don't understand why, but I always think that when I smell that scent and it has that base to it, but added like a bunch of warm berries. So I really liked it. It's not my favorite from that collection. I don't know if I will club any from that collection, but this was nice, but oh, this is in my club. Thank goodness this is in my club. I did not get around to melting this, I don't think. I might have melted this in my open concept from the Bring Back My Bar and it didn't do well in my old place, maybe? I, I don't remember, but I don't remember melting this. And I saw so many videos of people saying this was light and I'm like, I just wanna pop this in my bedroom. Five days? I mean, this went a lot of days in my bedroom peony petals. Shut the front door. I love this. This was so good. I didn't even want to take it out of my warmers. I just wanted to let it go and go and go and go. And it kept going and going and going and going. This was so good. This is floral. This is fresh. It has a tiny little bit of fruitiness in the background that makes it appealing. This is perfect. This is such a great spring scent. Fresh peony. Oh, and I love the scent of peonies. So, this was definitely a winner for me. Now, let's talk uh, why so many people love pods. I have the worst luck with pods. I, I don't understand. Like, they work for me when I travel in a hotel room, but they do not work for me at home. I try in my bathroom. I moved it to my laundry room. I even moved it into my office, like my plug. Nothing else going. I can never smell any of my pods. Ever, ever, ever. I had two sugared strawberries and like I brought these to my hotel room. I had a great hotel room experience with them, but I know I was only in my hotel for two nights. There was definitely scent left. I mean, there still is scent left in this, 
popped it into my uh, same diffuser here. Nothing. I don't know. And now I have in my laundry room sea salt and avocado. And guess what? I smell nothing. And even the clamshell, I smell nothing. So I don't know. Uh, pods just don't seem to be, for me, I'll stick with my wax, but I wish I loved pods. I really do. I'll just stick with them when I travel. I do travel quite a bit, so it will be nice to travel with them. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to stick with them. Wallflowers. I have Danbury Shortbread in my kitchen now from the Bridgerton collab. I really like this. I have Rosewater and Ivy in my upstairs entryway. This is nice. It's not super strong. I wish it was stronger. And then I have Mahogany Coconut in my downstairs entryway, and I loved this. All right, super strong. I finished from Fantasy Wax a Boyfriend Hoodie and a Fresh Picked Strawberry. Not much to say about these. They did not smell. I finished a Mineral and Sea Salt Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. There's, um, what... Fresh fragrance with a hint of crispness, inspired by watery mineral springs and salty air. This was fine. It was nice. It was like, again, like an aquatic watery body wash. I finished the Washer Whiffs in Wildflower Cotton from Sensi. Uh, listen. <laughs> I did something really crazy. Bath and Body Works had the buy three, get three free sale. I ordered laundry. The store near me is getting laundry, and I'm so excited. I want laundry so bad for Bath & Body Works because I'm obsessed with laundry. I love doing laundry. I love smelling laundry. I love folding laundry. I love everything about laundry, and I love clothes. So when I saw Bath & Body Works had laundry, but none of the stores near me had it, one of the stores near me is going to get it. They had buy three, get three free. I had a coupon and I had a gift card. So I ordered online a buy three, get three of laundry. I got Palo Santo, Mahogany Teakwood, and Sunwashed Santal. I got them in the, in the shower gel, in the detergent and the boosters. I washed all my robes and my towels in Palo Santo. I did exactly what it said. I did a cap full of boosters and a half a cap of the concentrated detergent every night. Well, I know. I just got it. And that's the thing. I ordered it Thursday morning. It came Friday morning. It was crazy. It shipped so fast from Columbus. So fast. Listen. And I used it. And like, not everything Bath & Body Works is great, but sometimes they do it right. And I've seen so many mixed reviews on laundry. Oh, it's a game changer. Every time I put my robe on, it smells like I sprayed it with Palo Santo room spray. And I am such a happy boy. It smells so good. I went and washed my bedding in the sun wash Santal. I literally, I took a little, I took a little afternoon nap today. It's a rainy Saturday. So I took a little nap. And let me tell you, the laundry is so great. Like I, it smells my clothes and my bedding for days. Like I'm very impressed. Very impressed. This Scentsy stuff, no. Uh, those Washer Whiffs Wildflower Cotton, I did the laundry liquid. I used this and the dryer discs on all my towels multiple times. I never smell anything on my towels. I never smell anything with any of the Scentsy laundry. I just don't think the Scentsy laundry works with my water. It has to be because so many people rave about the Scentsy laundry. It's very expensive and I don't get any satisfaction out of it except smelling it like this. I can smell it that way, but I can never smell it on my clothes. And wildflower cotton is a small is a strong scent. So listen, I'm gonna stick with the Bath and Body Works for now because I really like it. Speaking of laundry, this is a laundry liquid in Fall into Love. Again, I just use this to wash like uh uh washcloths and like everything that doesn't really need scent even though it doesn't really work because I finished the washer whiffs up way quicker because I feel like I need so much to add scent to my laundry. So I finished this up and now on to uh, soap. I finished ice lemon pound cake and strawberry pound cake. I finished strawberry pound cake in the gel soap, which I prefer, and ice lemon pound cake from last year in the foam. I just like the consistency of the gel soap. I like the way it lathers and I just overall like the quality of the gel better than the foam. I feel like the foam is very inconsistent. All right, I finished 
This is the best car scent I've ever had. DS and Durga Concrete After Lightning. It's just cardboard. But let me tell you, two weeks, two weeks, this little car scent that could scented my car every time I got in. And it did. It smelled just like this. Concrete during a rainstorm. Crazy. It smelled so earthy, so fresh. Everything about it is so great. And when I was in New York, I meant to pick up some more last weekend and I totally forgot. So when I go on my next trip, I'm definitely going to pop some more in to my luggage because I want to bring some home to me. All right. I finished, I know this is crazy, the Scentsy Fragrance Flower in Winterberry Apple Tea with reed sticks. Now, I was talking to Brett over at um, Brett and Brad, and he was saying the same thing about the fragrance flowers. Like, they stop working after a certain point with certain fragrance oils, and this was the poinsettia, and it just didn't work for me, you know? Is this, no, this is, was this aloe water and cucumber? Now I don't remember. Okay, this is aloe water and cucumber. But again, it stopped working. So I popped in reeds that I bought from Amazon. And as you can tell, it absorbed every drop of oil. So I'm going to keep buying these reeds from Amazon whenever my fragrance flowers stop working and call that a day. So I was excited about that. I finished a Beekman 1802 Honey and Orange Blossom Travel Body Cream. I actually leave these in my car. So anytime I need like a hand cream or any like moisture, I have one sitting there. I like the Beekman uh, body creams, but I was just using that up. And then last but not least, from Then I Met You, this is the Living Cleansing Balm. I really, really like this stuff, you guys. I finished this up. This is a nice double cleanse at night. You should always use a nice gentle cleanser in the morning and then at night, Use like a balm or an oil as your first cleanse. Dry hands, dry face, a little scoop of balm, work it into your hands, work it onto your face to break up if you wear makeup, SPF, anything like that. Break that all down, rinse it off, or I use a washcloth, and then go in with your regular cleanser to really clean your skin. So I always do a double cleanse at night. And this was the cleanser of choice. And now I'm on to another one, but I really, really like this stuff. So, whew. That was a long a half an hour empties video. Let me know what you finished up recently in the comments down below. Anything great? How is your May going? We are already halfway through May and it'll be summer, which I dread before we know it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys. Bye.